Now, they've got pretty used to success in recent years, but nevertheless, thousands of Sheffield Steelers fans turned out today to welcome their heroes back to the city. Because at the weekend, the Steelers grabbed their final chance of some silverware this season with victory in the championship playoff final. Here's Helen James. There were jubilant scenes in Sheffield's Orchard Square this afternoon. About 2,000 Steeler fans spent hours queuing to meet their heroes and catch a glimpse of that all-important playoff championship trophy. Absolutely brilliant. Never miss a game. Wonderful. So thrilled. I just can't explain, really, basically. Just really chuffed a bit. So. It's the third time the Steelers have won the Cup. They beat the Nottingham Panthers 3-1 at the 9X Arena in Manchester on Saturday. Last year they won the Grand Slam, but this season's been tough. They lost out on the Super League title and the Benson and Hedges Cup. So it was a massive relief for the team to win the playoffs and bring the silverware home to Sheffield. The guys worked hard for it and they deserved the win and uh, you know this is one, uh, one way to show our appreciation for them. The delight was tempered for two of the squad by learning of the deaths of close relatives after the match. It really uh, brings the game back into perspective and in that it is only a game, it's not life. But for the fans, nothing could spoil today's celebrations and hopes are high for success in Europe next season. Yeah, thanks very much, John. For some reason, I actually wanted to do this next interview, so I'm going to leave you spot there because joining us now from our Sheffield studio is one of the Steelers' goal scorers on Saturday, Frank Kovacs. Frank, congratulations. Thanks a lot. You left a little late, didn't you, to bring home a piece of the silverware to Sheffield? What, excuse me again? I say you left a little late. You were having us all worried that you weren't going to win anything this time. Yeah, it was a tough year. We, uh, you know, we had a real um, up and down year. Um, we were supposed to win all three championships, but we ended up winning the last one, which was probably the most important one for the team. And uh, what a way to end the season. Now, I have to admit, I've never actually been to, uh, to one of your games. In fact, I've never been to a game of ice hockey. If you were to try and sell it to me, what have you got that attracts all those dedicated fans? What's the game got? I think the game's got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, action. Um, to me, football's pretty boring. Um, not many goals scored. Hockey's lots of goals scored. There's lots of body checking. Once in a while, there's the uh, odd excuse fight. Me, what's, what's body checking? Body oh. checking? That's when you hit a guy into the boards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's yes. part of the game. I understand what you're talking about. Frank, yeah. well done. Thanks for chatting. Thanks a lot. Okay. There they are. You can go and watch it and check the bodies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, body checks, of course. Sorry. Get re